Nice to meet you too. <laughs> hey, Kurt. Back back over there. So, okay, how's it going? So that was that was really fast. You guys played really fast. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't a sanctioned match technically. Right. So, <laughs> so uh, I guess all day, like um, it, it looked to us like there was just so much no rug in the yeah. field. Kurt, did you uh, did you play no rug to, in the Swiss? Uh, I did. I played it twice in the Swiss. Okay, so obviously, and you were, you you beat it twice in the Swiss. Yeah. And then so you went seven zero and two. Is that right? Yeah. Is that what you were selling me to? Uh, that was a match all day. Game? Look at you. Yeah, that's pretty that's awesome. Good winner. What was your uh, experience against uh, against like stone blade decks all day? Uh, I didn't play at it today. I played it uh, a bunch in the previous opens. I was right, playing right. Out. A bunch. I was had a pretty good record against it. Uh, the matches are close. It's a really close matchup. Uh, anybody who thinks one side is favored is doesn't play enough legacy. It's really. It seemed really, it's really, really tight. Fluffy. Like that, yeah. that uh, uh, semifinals match that we watched. Yeah. That was that was really long, yeah. but it was really tight. Like the whole time, yeah. like yeah. you know, yeah. Alex went and wa saw a movie really while we waited. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> yeah game was uh, kind of frustrating. Like I yeah. just like did so much work to try to get back in that game, and then it's just like, hey, yeah. seen it yet? Draws green sun Jesus. Now he did, uh, and, and Adrian was mentioning this. There were a lot of outs that uh, that he had besides like green yeah, yeah, sun. Yeah, definitely. He had, he had like, like burn, burn spells. Yeah, yeah. Um, one of the things noted on Twitter as a possibility was possibly, and and it may have, uh, it maybe it was just too much of a stretch, but uh, he actually or somebody mentioned you could have equipped your own creature and played swords to plowshares to gain some some extra life. And that would have kept you alive through that progenitive hit. Like so I, I can't remember yeah, exactly yeah. what you had in play. I know you had a spell stutter sprite. Oh, that sounds but, a lot uh, better than what I did. <laughs> you make mistakes. <laughs> I, I, I don't think I've ever seen Crispy make a mistake before. <laughs> like ever. I've watched him play a bunch of matches. I, I was but, uh, birding him at uh, Grand Prix Atlanta. He was playing some real tight magic there. Yeah, it so. wasn't a play we noticed. We were thinking the same thing. We were like, if he can kill the hierarch and just live through the next turn, that's it. And you did, but he top deck green sun into the shame, other high road. Shame, shame, shame. Yeah, shame. so that was just bad. 11 outs. Yeah, Adrian yeah, actually counted. Yeah, there were <laughs> definitely a lot of outs. So, uh, but it was it was still frustrating because, you know, it looks like, looks like you have yeah. it. If you didn't, obviously he didn't have that, you had the win there. Um, so, very cool. Um, one of the questions, is this is this a question from you, Adrian? Yeah, you want to click versus hive mind. How good is Vendillion click versus the hive mind? Uh, yeah. So, blue card that pitches the force, so well. But you, uh, you don't feel like the uh, the information, being able to take something out of their hand or just the information as far as what oh, I mean, got. Yeah, I will never, I won't put it out against them. It just, it's, uh, I mean, from my deck's perspective, uh, against Hivemind, it's just a race to the combo pieces. It's like uh, their deck is a little more all in. So, I mean, their win is capable of just killing me, whereas mine takes two turns to kill them if it resolves. I mean, they're both combo decks with Force of Will, and that's like right. the whole archetype. There's, you know, there's control decks, aggro decks, combo decks, and then combo decks with force of will. Right. That's its own category. If you group the combo decks and the combo decks with force of will in them in one category, you're not tackling it correctly. You gotta tackle them differently. So like, no rug is a combo deck with force of will, and like reanimator is more of a combo deck with force of will because there's a bunch right. of you know. But yeah, basically tackle them differently, and and his deck serves a different role than does mine. Right. Yeah. So, so how do I mean? As far as like hive mind, obviously it was kind of. Seeming like it was showing up so often yeah. in recent weeks, and it just it, there was we saw it once in the Swiss on camera, but it didn't show up at all. No, in the top not eight. today. Um, like how are, is it because of things like the more days is more spell stutter sprites that you think you're just keeping the uh, keeping the hive mind decks down? Or? Sprite is real good against them. Yeah, it's I really mean, sweet. like I would love to play the matchup because I've got like the blast too. So. Right. Yeah. 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 Smart. The blasts are a real smart idea. I heard James gave you that idea yesterday. Yeah, we were just James talking Nicholas, about the yeah, yeah, we were talking about the mirror for like a good half hour, just like how yeah. can we like break the, you know, because all the mirror is is really just like drawing the right cards at the right time. It's not even yeah. like if you play tight, you know, that's obviously if you play loose, it's gonna lose you the game. But uh, yeah, no, for sure. That yeah, like really like Force of Will is just like garbage in the mirror. Yeah, you unless it's countering an essential vision. Like, yeah, you never want a two for one. And, yeah, and, exactly. And Red Elemental Blast does that, and it also counters their spell slaughter price on your. Uh, and yeah, basically. Case. So despite the fact that we, we play a lot of the same cards, mm -hmm. we're we're doing totally different things. Like right. my force will, I only play force will in my deck to counter force will because right. I have my right as back. Four mana You're protecting 10, your yeah, combo. Exactly. Right. So that's all it is. And V click is there to only there to look at my opponent. And in some games it can attack for three or four, but the most right. of the time it's that where it's his deck it's you know just a win condition and his his counter spells are there to you know stop his two card combo, his one, two mana combo. You know, it's <laughs> right. so stick, So, so uh, I guess as far as like. Uh, Deck choices, you guys obviously you you love no rug apparently, yeah. and you keep sticking with it. Kurt, yeah. you've kind of played this kind of uh, like the blue white yeah. control list for a while now yeah, too. Yeah, I've been playing blue white Stenforce since Providence. Right, Providence okay. Obviously, gone through a lot of changes, mainly 
adding visions to the deck, which is yeah, yeah, it's basically sweet. the second best card. Yeah, the Sylvan Library is probably one of the best cards in Legacy, and people just aren't playing it. Yeah, yeah, that people is people not playing it. I mean, I, I, I originally was looking at Reed Duke's Rug deck because I remember I first played it here in Boston, the last Boston one. I was, right. I played this one. He invented the deck. He brought it here, mm -hmm. and like I sat there with my Merfolk deck, and I had no idea how to beat this deck. Right. It was just the random out of nowhere. I had no idea. I had chain lightnings and some weird spells, and I don't know. So mm -hmm. I sat there. I, you know, he did well in Providence with it, mm -hmm. and I was like, okay, this deck's for real. I'm gonna try and you know. Because I wanted to look for, I was changing, trying to change up for Murpho because I felt it was just an underdog. So I said, how can I make this rug deck better? And I, the first card that came to mind was Sylvan Library, and I then I stuck it there, and I had a bunch of people that said, Jonathan Siganek tried it out, uh, Chris Cronenberger tried it out, and they were like, this card's sweet. And I'm like, all right. So we, we jammed some Sylvan Libraries, went up from one to two. We cut the Ponders for them, and then we needed more blue cards, so the Bolt became Fire Ices to add his blue card count. Right. So just the deck just went under a little transformation from yeah, what it was Yeah, it's like before. evolution, yeah. Yeah, that, and that's how the format works, and you know, like, two weeks from now, Legacy's always changing, two weeks from now those cards might be bad. How so would you guys, like, after this tournament, just what you've seen today, would you guys make any kind of changes? I know it's different for both decks, but, uh, mm. Kurt, do you, you think, are there, is there any, any modifications you'd make just so at this point? The one card with, that I was super scared of in the mirror was Elspeth. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Just because I board out my forces, like I have to Vendillion click it, or else right. it's just going to resolve against me. Right. Because okay. I don't even board in the spell pierce in the mirror. I just because I have the blast. So like, yeah, Elspeth would definitely be if uh, if it's just like my seventy five mirror, then it's definitely like Elspeth. Yeah. Elspeth always beats Jace too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Elspeth always gets Jace. It's like. Do you feel like Elspeth is just a good addition to yeah. the decks if you're if you're expecting to? Yeah. Uh, if I was playing his deck, I'd be playing one else get somewhere, and it I would, would change the deck a little bit. Uh, I'd probably cut the threads. I saw somebody playing Timely Reinforcements against Zoo. I just wanted one more card for Zoo. Yeah. Timely Reinforcements is awesome in this deck. Yeah, yeah we did see that earlier. I, I yeah. don't think we didn't, didn't see it sweet. against yeah, Zoo. Yeah, the extra there. couple yeah. turns. Yeah. So sweet. Like extra life gain. So. Any, any, it's anything better than Wrath against Zoo. It's true. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's crazy. That deck, I mean, that card is ridiculous. Yeah. But uh, any, anything that you had in mind for your deck? Uh, the for change changes, oh, uh, today I tried out an Edric in the board. It wasn't very good. No, so okay. I'm going to try we, we, out we a, wondering uh, about that. I'm going to try out a Scavenging Ooze because I've heard good things about that. Mm -hmm. And um, that's, that, that's it. The, the numbers are all really solid right now. I like the numbers, cool. like the, having the multiple Fire Ices. That's just really good in the mirror match. You're playing more Fire Ice. This card's awesome. doesn't get mental misstep. Right. Two mana is better than one mana at some spots. Yeah. So. <laughs> awesome. Well, congratulations to both of you guys. Thanks. Thanks for, uh, for joining us here in the booth. And uh, we'll see you guys, uh, I'm sure, at okay. some future events. You've you come to almost all of them. Kurt, yeah. you, you seem to show up at a lot of them recently, so. Yeah. Um, the name to watch out too. for. He's good. He's yeah, really absolutely. Good. <laughs> so. uh, cool. Thanks, thanks guys. So. Yep. Have a good night. Thanks. Nice. All right. Let me squeeze one of these chairs out here while we squeeze Adrian back in. <laughs> okay. So, a uh, real quick note from, uh, from Alex. This means he's... With one point in the standard, he's four points behind Edgar Flores after this weekend in the uh, Player of the Year race, we'll call it, yeah. the, uh, the race for the Star City Games Open Series. For those of you who are just joining us, that was the end. We have, uh, what about, 26 hours of magic we've shown, yeah. maybe 27 hours of magic. Um, I'm happy to say this was a great tournament. Congratulations to Kurt and to Alex. And uh, do you have to Anders, uh, Anders Simpson Wolf.